Uh, good morning. Much of our everyday life is dependent on electricity, and when the electricity doesn't work, it can be a real pain in the butt, especially if you're a computer repair shop or somebody that depends on electronics daily. In this edition of Guru Brew, we're going to go over some of the methods that you can use to provide power for yourself even though your uh, utility company is not providing it for you. Stay tuned. We'll get started talking about uninterruptible, un uninterruptible, 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 un un uninterruptible, uninterruptible, uninterruptible power supplies on this edition of Guru Brew. For those of you that don't know, a UPS is the device that will turn on when the normal power goes out and the power is provided from an internal battery. This is a small uh, battery backup UPS. It's called an LS500. It has um, the four plugs on it and as a demo I'm going to um, cut the power um, that's provided to this box um, from the normal utility so you can see it go on battery backup. What's currently plugged into this unit is this monitor which is now installing Windows 7 and this small Dell. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, push this button right here and you can see that the on battery light has kicked on but everything is running quite normally so there's no interruption at all in the power so that's how these battery backups work and then when it's just sitting idle they're monitoring their own batteries and charging it well, let's go ahead and turn that, the mains back on you'll see that it comes off standby so that's how it works on to the next. I have three different APC power supplies that will kick in in the case of an emergency where the power goes out. Each one of these is rated for a different wattage and of course the bigger they are the, the more watts that the, they'll provide. Um, here at our shop we have quite a few of these. Um, they're 400 watt I'm sorry, this is a 250 watt. It has one 12 volt battery in there and it doesn't last very long, but it's great for um, spikes. It can provide power for one computer, although I don't recommend putting a monitor. And certainly you can, uh, one of these kind, in fact, all of these kind are not really suitable for a laser printer at all even though they have plugs on the back uh, doesn't mean you can fill them up with just anything the next one here in the middle is a 400 watt it's a little bit bigger it's called a backup UPS 600 it's, an, it's an also an APC these are older but I keep throwing batteries in them and they just keep going the electronics are fairly good in them and I, I like them this is uh, another APC unit. It's a 980 watt. It's also it's called the UPS 1500. All of these power supply, all of these UPSs, I should be calling them, uninterruptible power supplies, include a plug on the back um, that can be plugged into a computer for data monitoring. This one happens to run off uh, USB. And as you can tell, there's uh, one, two, three, four outlets on each strip. Now, this is very typical of a UPS. Normally, uh, all these plugs are protected from spikes and surges. However, usually only one row or column of them are used for battery backup. On this particular one, I believe that they're all hooked into the battery however on a smaller one this is what the back of the 400 watt unit looks like it has four outlets and what is really important is to make sure that you 
don't overload these units when the power goes off it automatically transfers AC um, power that's normally coming from AC to the battery section inside it goes through an inverter and then it provides power to whatever is plugged into these these outlets what I like to do um, here at the shop is to use a device um, such as this one it's called a kilowatt meter and what this does is it will tell you exactly how many watts a device uses so I will plug a computer into this or whatever I plan to um, hook into a battery backup and monitor the power in watts and then match it to whatever size of one of these units that I might need. Uh, for bigger jobs, you need a lot more batteries. Um, so I'll take you into the next room and show you a little bigger unit. Hang on. I apologize for the bad lighting and um, you know other conditions that might make this tough to see what you're looking at is a power supply that's hooked up to um, three individual batteries uh, the bat the one in the back is a, a 12 volt and the two in the front are two six volts and by hooking it up this way um, it allows us to get a pretty good runtime out of this um, normal power supply that would just have maybe two smaller 12 volt batteries so in effect what we've done is just put external batteries on it uh, you know just a simple hack and then plug in all our computers that are on this table into this one battery backup system and this works really great we get about 20 minutes out of this and it does just fine so that's another way that you can use these battery backups uh, with extended battery life using the same um, UPS supply as a little demo to show you how much wattage um, selected electronics can take in, in this kilowatt meter I have plugged in it's now showing about 59 watts being consumed um, between this LCD monitor and this computer up here. It's just running a uh, small uh, security camera monitor and uh, it comes down here into this plug and then goes into here. So I know that I need at least 60 watts if I were to put this on battery backup to pr provide enough power for it to run. So um, to be safe, I would probably use 100 watt on that. And that's how you can tell how much power you, um, devices are using. This is another style of an APC UPS that we use here in the shop. It uh, has six outlets. On this side are simply surge protectors. And on this side, it's surge and battery. We um, have several of these units in different configurations around the shop that supply our smaller workbenches, especially if we're doing a backup for a customer or something like that. We want to make sure that the power doesn't go out while we're doing the, the transfer on a hard drive. So we'll just put one of these on our bench. So that's another way that we use um, uninterruptible power supplies here at the business and although this system is not uh, fully automatic this battery back and inverter section is certainly used um, here for powering items when the power goes down inside this box it's vented and as you can see there's golf cart batteries that are um, constantly charged by solar panels we'll do another show on the solar panels later they're all heavy duty batteries and um, they go through these three inverters and we have uh, power monitoring here which goes up into this um, circuit box up here 
So this is another means of uh, battery backup when the power goes down. Highly recommended that everybody have um, some kind of a battery backup plan. It may save your computer from the jolts of um, spikes in the line as well as just provide convenience when the power goes out. This has been a little bit of um, background for our battery backup system. I'm sure there will be more to come. I'll show you the um, the solar panels in another show on how we keep these batteries charged. That in itself is a show. So, um, thanks for watching. Please thumbs up the video. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching the Guru Brew. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.